Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay Swain. Today we're playing another episode of The Long Dark. I don't know if you guys heard that. I don't know if that was the bear or my tummy. There it goes again. Do you guys hear that? Damn, dude, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, so in the last episode, we explored the uh, the Carter Hydro Dam. And uh, we were there because we needed to find some radio parts and the medical supplies for the old trapper. So now we got to bring that back to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take the tracks like I did to get up here. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this route. I'm going to take the river or the creek or whatever it's called. And we're going to make a stop by the uh, Mystery Lake Supply Cache. And hopefully we can find something good. What is that sound? I don't know. It's not the bear. There might be something like some equipment around here that's making a really like a low grumbling sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... It is so creepy. There we go. You heard it? I don't know, dude. I just need to get out of here. <laughs> I'm getting creeped out. Okay, so let's do that. Hopefully we don't get uh, attacked by wolves or bears or anything like that. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> but if we do, we do have a weapon here. Oh, yeah. I also have a uh, check this out. I've got the, uh, the flare pistol. So we have some protection against uh, wolves if we have to defend ourselves. Okay, what time is it? It's actually midday, okay? So we have plenty of daylight, but at the same time... I need to offload some of the stuff in my inventory. I need to maybe consolidate and drop some stuff because... I am over encumbered. Oh, dude, we have... Look at all the coffee that we have. Honestly, the meat is really... We can probably... There we go. I've got a... I should have like a... Torch. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start this up. There we go. Alright. So I went through my inventory and everything is... I mean, I dropped a lot of things. I'm not over encumbered anymore. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to start a fire. But I can't start it inside, so let's go back out here real quick. Let's start a fire. And I want to... What I really want to do is I want to cook... Uh, I want to cook some stuff. I've got some raw meat on me. That I need to get rid of. It's really heavy. The wolf meat that I have. Come on. Come on. It's taking up a lot of uh, space in my inventory. So I want to see if I can take care of that. But I don't have a... Uh, I mean, will I actually be able to cook it? Okay. Let's go ahead and make both of them. I need to add fuel. I don't have any fuel. I might have some more back in here. Hold up. I think I dropped a lot of stuff. The papers. Not that. Yeah, let's grab all the papers and stuff. Not the book. Okay, maybe one book. There we go. Hopefully it's not too late. Oh no. Damn it, we have to start it over. Alright, let's try again. There we go. I just want to take care of like my food and my water and stuff like that. I want to grab these mushrooms here. I don't really know what they're for. I mean, I think I can make tea out of them. I just don't... Uh, I've never done that yet. I could eat anything right now. Yeah, we're getting pretty hungry. Let's go ahead and eat that. There we go. Well, there we go. All right. Okay, so uh, let's go back. Let's grab that stuff here. Wait, I want to... Um, not cook anything, but I want to... Can I not take a torch? Whatever. I don't think I have a stick or anything like that. Okay, so I want to go back in here real quick. Ah, oh, damn, dude. I left something in here. I need that bedroll. Cannot leave that behind. Let's hurry up. Okay. Grab this. 
Okay, we're good now. We are good. Alright. I mean, we still have some daylight left, so... I'm gonna see if I can make it to the cave and then spend the night, and from there... We'll, um, head back to the cabin with the trapper. And hopefully we're not too late. He was in really bad shape when we left him, but I think he'll be okay. Go on. Dude, I'm really worried about that bear, man. Really worried. I kind of want to take a shot at one of these, uh, the deer. I mean, should I? That's good meat right there. But I don't want to be greedy. Okay. Wait, do I need to... Hold up. I'm just trying to, like, see on the map which way I need to go. I'm gonna go down here. Okay, I think I can see something up ahead. I'm not sure. Is that a cave? I don't really know what I'm looking at, to be honest. God, I'm so scared, man. There better not be like a pack of wolves inside this cave. No way. Okay, we're going the right way. I can hear a wolf. To my left. Oh god, dude. <laughs> I actually think, uh... I might not be going the right way. I don't know. Yeah, dude, I'm not, uh... I'm not going the right way. I need to be up there. Oh my god, here we go. So this is the beginning of the end. I thought it was going to be like a... Okay, yeah, I thought it was going to be like a straight path, but I guess not. Now I have no idea... ...where I'm supposed to go, like, or how I'm supposed to get up to the cave. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is we're going to, uh, we're going to go this way and see if we can find that cave because it's quickly getting dark and I want to, um, I want to make sure I have a place to stay and spend the night and we're going to have to like build the fire and everything. Okay, I can hear a wolf. I might need to use this flare. What is that right there? Oh, there's the wolf. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, crap, dude. I kind of want to go check out that thing right there. And what is that? Yeah, we are not safe. Okay. So I think the cave entrance is like right here. I need to find it fast because we are... Okay, Alan's cave. Okay. It's not really what I expected, I'm not gonna lie. So what am I looking for? Yeah, dude, I'm right here. Do I need to, uh, dig something up? Oh, here we go. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, military grade MRE, okay. Be good to drink. Nutritious. Oh, we found a lot of good food. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're gonna lay down a bedroll. And then also, I might need to eat something. I kind of want to go check out... I don't know what to call that thing. It's like a stand, like a hunting stand. Oh, dude, look. 
Look at the green, uh... What is that? Is that like a... I think it's like the Aurora. Borealis or whatever it's called. Okay, I need to scare off this. Uh, I want to hit him with the uh, pistol. Those guys are scaring me. Okay, I'm going to sneak in. And see if we can actually scare off the wolf. Oh god. Oh, he's hunting. Okay, so he's distracted. Okay, we found a key. Nice. Nobody needs this anymore. What do we have here? More rifle ammo? Nice. Oh, it's a... Wait, what? Is that not a... What am I looking at? Thought that was something I could pick up. A snare? Could end up being useful. Oh, dude. That's cool. How do I use it? Bro. I want to give this thing a go. Should we put it like right here? Hold up. I want to put it like right here. I mean, I don't see any bunnies or anything like that, but... You never know. Yeah, it's getting late. I mean, how far away are we from... Oh, we're really far. Yeah. We're not going to make this trip at night. Okay, let's go back in here. It's a good thing we didn't really have to deal with the... Uh, the wolf, but... Oh, I need more... Okay, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. I think we're going to have to deal with the wolf. <laughs> oh, God. Because I need... Uh, I need sticks. I can probably break this down. Nope. Wait, can I? Oh, yeah. 45 minutes? Oh, now it's really late. Dude, look at the sky. All I can think about is food. Yeah, we're really hungry. But we're gonna be okay. Let's go. Dusk. The night can't be far behind. Oh my god. That wind is blowing really hard. Okay, yeah, I think we're just going to have to uh, make our way back in the dark. It's probably not the smartest move, but... <laughs> I'm really eager to actually get out of here. I mean, it's, it's far away to get back to the camp office, but I think it's doable. We can get back over there, take a little nap. And then uh, from there, we can make our way back to the trapper. I just don't want to run into any uh, wolves or anything like that. Oh, no way. The wind blood my torch. <laughs> oh, that's a sign right there. Damn, dude, this is so intimidating. And I can hear the ice cracking beneath my feet, too. <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine I actually fall through the ice? That'd be a goner. There'd be nothing you can do. That would be a really horrible way to die. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> That's gonna be... That has to be one of the worst ways to die. Freeze to death. Trapped under ice. Drowning, but you're cold at the same time. Screw it. Oh, dude. We got a wolf. <laughs> Bitch. He's running wrong way, dude. Don't run that way. <laughs> okay, the flare gun is actually pretty effective, but... Oh my god. Yeah, dude, we need to go. We need to go. Yeah. I think he's coming back. Yeah, I might have to pass the time so um, it can, you know, be a little bit further on in the day where it's daylight. And then we'll make our way back to the trapper. 
and that should be then we should be good come on but it's still pretty dark right now that didn't work oh, dude why is it not working man i hate when it i hate when it doesn't work honestly don't know if i have a reason to actually light this fire to be honest i really don't it's not like i have any meat to cook or anything like that probably just a waste of resources that did it that did it okay I mean, is there anything I can craft? Um, yeah, I don't have any... Wait, I have snow? Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do something. Um, can I make coffee? Ooh. Okay, we're brewing some coffee. That's good. Let's go ahead and, um... I'm not sure I can carry much more. Maybe I can put some stuff in this trunk here. Since our guy is complaining. That crow feather is not bothering anybody. I don't know. I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and extinguish that. Get the coffee. Wait, is it ready? Oh, it's unsafe. Needs a little bit more time. I am hungry though. Go ahead and eat that uh, wolf meat. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, pass time. There we go. All right, um, grab that. Can I grab a torch? Yes, I can. All right, so we got a torch. We got some food, water, blah blah blah. Let's actually, let's actually go. There's no reason to wait around. There's nothing here I can make, right? Yeah, let's get out of here. It's not like we have a... We don't have very far to go. Oh, dude, we have a... <laughs> that's a long ways away, man. Oh, God. We're gonna get into some trouble on the way. I hope nothing crazy happens, but... <laughs> Bitch. Didn't want to do it, guys. I heard another wolf. You heard that? Should I get that meat? Dude, honestly? I don't want to spend too much time. What? Ooh, dude, do I, like, get the whole thing? Oh, shit, dude. What? Oh, dude, we... Oh, my God. <laughs> we left nothing behind. It's starting to weigh me down. Yeah, that was not very smart. But oh well. We're just gonna have to um Okay, so like in this area, the deadfall area, there should be a little house or something like that we can rest up. Cold is making my head feel thick. Oh god, dude, I can hear a wolf. Mackenzie, you will be okay. I promise you. I got you, bro. Just make sure you pick up these sticks. We're gonna need them. For sure. Yeah, there should be like a... Like, super close by. There should be an actual building. We'll go ahead, like, set up camp. Get a fire going. Get some food, whatever we need, and then we'll be uh, we'll be on our way. All right, here we go. I found it. So there should be like a stove inside. We can go ahead and make a fire and get warm. We are not doing okay right now. <laughs> We're steadily losing health. Here we go. You will be okay, Mackenzie. Trust me, you are in good hands, buddy. You are in good hands. Just hopefully we can get this fire started. <laughs> uh, I might have to drop... I picked up a lot of stuff from that wolf that I might have to drop. But I might... While I'm here, I could probably make something. Okay, obviously I can't... Uh, 
thought maybe it had some like raw meat or something that I could cook. Okay, let's see what we picked up. Um, here we go. A uh, section of a wolf carcass cut from the carcass to make transportation a bit easier. Harvest for usable meat. Yeah, see, we might um, we might drop a couple of those. I kind of want to keep one. I don't know. Honestly, guys, we don't really need it. I think it's just it's weighing us down, and we don't really need it to be honest. Now, the uh, the gut can be used for crafting and repair after air drying indoors for five days. I don't really know what I can use that for. Um, but I guess we'll keep it. Same thing with the hide or the pelt. I have to figure out how to air dry it, but I can probably make clothes out of it, so I definitely want to keep this on me. Um, but I am, I'm pretty heavy. I am pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to drop something here. Maybe drop that guy. Um, anything else? I don't know, that might be okay for now. How are we doing? Okay, we're heating up. It's not bad. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, dude, he's still complaining. Let's go ahead and eat real quick. I think we're good. Yeah, we can move a little faster. I think we're okay. We're over encumbered, but if we're careful, I don't think it matters. We're just gonna go over that ridge. And I think we'll be, um... I mean, we're getting pretty close. Take that. We just have to get up here. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I need to be careful though, because when you're over encumbered like this, and you're going up like a steep incline, I don't want to like spray my ankles or anything like that. But it is definitely a possibility if I'm not careful. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, this is not safe at all. Oh man, I just need to drop. Let's see. I need to drop something. Oh, dude, Damn. all these sticks. Freezing. Hold up. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do it better awesome okay much better gotta have the gun at the ready man you never know we're so close but that bear can pop out of nowhere like if I was developing a video game like this I for sure would have the bear just come out of nowhere and attack the player just when you think you're safe you know but I think we're actually good. We're actually safe. We made it back. Dude, we made it back. God damn. That was a long trip. Hold up. How do I... That was a long trip, but we did it. I mean, after making a trip like that, I'm pretty sure there's nothing that we can't handle. Nothing at all. I think that's uh, safe to say that we have the basics down. Okay, I meant to look in this before, but what's in here? Where's the good stuff? Oh yeah, dude. Give me that. Give me that. Alright. There he is. <clears throat> oh shit. <laughs> Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious, too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? <laughs> you don't have time. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because... the old bear... He's special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. 
but I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic, but we need the old knowledge, the old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story, local legend maybe, about one of the original settlers of this place, Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him, just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them, revenge for some slight in the past, maybe, something in the family history. Spence gets the men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. Hmm. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him, half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bears work. And the last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. Hmm. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? <laughs> no, of course not. I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> but the old stories sometimes have truth hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear, and you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there, a couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> <coughs> now, let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. Okay. God damn. Okay, we learned a lot of information there, but now what we're going to do is we're going to go out and uh, find a spear that we can use to take on the giant bear. That's insane. <laughs> this guy's crazy, but that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but that's it for uh, today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay blessed. Peace.